Hardly any other food is as German as bread. Of course, there's bread all over the world, but in Germany alone there are over 3000 bread specialties. According to UNESCO, German bread culture is an intangible world cultural heritage. How did this come about? The Germanic tribes were already cultivating grain and baking bread. The most important types of grain back then were barley, emmer, rye, millet and oats. Later, wheat, the most widely cultivated cereal today, was added along with the subspecies pelt and einkorn, but also maize, which plays a subordinate role as a foodstuff or in baking in Germany. This diversity of grain varieties in Germany is a great advantage given the different soils and climatic regions. For example, wheat grows on nutrition rich soils and rye on nutrition poor soils. What is special about German bread is that there is no classic flat variety such as tortillas or similar flat breads. Sourdough is obtained simply by mixing rye flour with water using natural yeast or lactic acid bacteria. In Germany, yeast is also used as a leavening agent. In fact, rye was more common than wheat in Middle Ages, whereas it was considered noble to eat white wheat bread, however the flour had to be sifted so much that it became expensive and was not available to feed the masses. The guild system also emerged during the Middle Ages. While baking on the farm or in the village was women's work, baking in the town was reserved for men as journeymen and masters in the bakeries. The rules of the Gilde Zunft Innung guild, Bruderschaft, Brotherhood or Gaffel gaff, varied depending on the town. Sometimes the journeymen were allowed or forced to wander, sometimes they were not allowed to pass on the secrets of the guild. In this video you can see the work in an old community bakehouse as it was done for hundreds of years. From the multitude regional family recipes, village recipes and guild recipes you naturally get a variety of different types of bread. Though there are wheat bread or white bread with at least 90% wheat flour, mixed wheat bread with 50% to 90% wheat flour, rye bread with at least 90% rye flour, mixed rye bread with 50 to 90% rye flour, whole meat bread where the whole grain must be used whether from wheat, rye or oats, coarse grain breads that use much coarser flour whether made from wheat or rye, pumpernickel made from 90% rye baking meal or whole meal rye meal with a baking time of at least 16 hours, crisp bread which may contain a maximum of 10% moisture and many more. This is toast bread, by the way. In Germany it is also often made from rye or whole wheat flour. And if we look at an industrially produced toast loaf from a discounter, even this only has 11 ingredients. Wheat flour, water, wheat soda, wheat flour and water, rapeseed oil, sugar, yeast, table salt, field bean flour and sodium acetate as an acidity regulator and possibly traces of milk, sesame and soya. If the breed comes from the baker it usually has fewer ingredients. Some bakers even only need four ingredients for rye bread, rye flour, sourdough, water and salt. In this video a baker shows a different recipe and how easy it is. For mixed breads you only need different flours or, depending on the bread, yeast instead or together with the sourdough. When I was in England during my studies I was very happy that the local Lidl had brown bread. Bread is so important to us that it is important in the language for our daily lives. If someone is working they are having a Broterwerb, literally bread purchase. 
or they are in Lohn und Brot, literally being in wage and bread. The Brotzeit, literally bread time, is a second breakfast in Bavaria and in the evening we eat the Abendbrot, evening bread. A Butterbrot, butter bread or sandwich, is made for school or work. Wes Brot ich ess des Lied ich sing, whose bread I eat, whose song I sing, or when moving into a new house people are given bread and salt. Even today the profession of baker is an apprenticeship. In order to deliver fresh bread in the morning, the bakers start work early in the morning, sometimes at two or three o'clock in the morning, so that the bread rolls and loaves are fresh in the shop window at six o'clock in the morning. In addition to the bakers, bakery sales assistants also work there. In contrast to the baker, who mainly bakes bread and rolls, the pastry chef mainly bakes cakes, tarts, pastries and sweet pastries. But bakers can also bake sweet cakes. Those who start early are often finished with the work by lunchtime. Training to become a baker takes three years and almost half of the trainees in 2019 had a Hauptschulabschluss, but almost 10% also had Abitur. Whether you start out in a craft business or in the industry in a large bakery, bakers are in demand and those who later pass the master craftsman's examination can even go to university, regardless of whether they have previously obtained an abitur or not. When Germans buy bread, they like to buy it in one piece so that it doesn't dry out. That's why they have a bread slicer at home or a bread knife. And fresh bread, perhaps still a little warm, just with butter or margarine, is a dream. And if the bread is a little dry, simply heat it up, perhaps with a little cheese up on top for a minute in the microwave or briefly in the toaster and it's soft again. Altes Brot ist nicht hart. Gar kein Brot. Das ist hart. Stale bread is not hard. No bread at all. It's hard. What is your favorite bread? Thank you for your attention. Always a crispy crumb so that the teas have something to bite.